Hey, what is going on guys? Um, Cameron asked me to fill in for him and this is Kermit the Frog. I'm just going to be sharing with you guys some tips and okay. What's going on guys? Cameron here. Today is a little bit of a different video. I just wanted to share with you guys some common easy ways you guys can tweak your performance on Windows 10 to boost your gaming performance and just optimize your machines a bit better because I mean, I've been playing this game now for like 17 seasons. And I used to have a lot of performance issues running the exact same hardware in my PC that I am now. And now I've gotten it working a bit better, so I thought I'd just share with you guys some general good advice and tips and stuff that you can do on your PCs. But first guys, if you are new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, like the video as well, that does help me out a lot, helps me keep doing these videos for you guys. So yeah guys, let's just dive right into this one. So first off guys, you're gonna wanna be on your desktop screen like this. I'm gonna give you guys one of the most simple and easy little uh, tweaks for gaming performance. You're gonna wanna come down here to the bottom of your screen, click the search icon, and then type in gaming. What you'll see when you type in gaming uh, is this option up here, game mode. If you click on game mode settings, a lot of people aren't aware, but there's actually a built-in game mode functionality on Windows 10. By clicking this option, it's off by default, so you'll need to turn it on if you haven't seen this. It will optimize your PC for better play when you're playing on your PC, which is awesome. And it can help you increase performance. And it also makes sure that other tasks running on your PC don't conflict with your game sessions. You won't get like crazy pop-ups on Discord or something while you're playing the game, which can be pretty nice. All right, and another super helpful tip, guys, you're gonna wanna come down here, type in graphics. You guys might have heard about this one. This one is a little bit more common, but if you have hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, this can help reduce like latency, just makes your PC play a little better. Make sure this is on if you don't have that on under your graphics settings. Also, you can manually add Fortnite to have high performance when you're playing the game. Uh, to do that, we'll just go ahead and remove it for now. You're gonna need to click browse. So you actually need to find this file here. It's called Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping. It's in a very specific folder. I'll show you guys where you can find that though. It's pretty easy. So let's say you're on this PC. You're gonna go here. You're gonna go into your local drive C. You're gonna go to program files. You're gonna go to Epic Games, Fortnite, Engine, Binaries, Win64. And I went to the wrong spot. <laughs> All right, you need to go to Fortnite game and then binaries and win 64. So my bad, my bad guys. Uh, so once you're in here, you'll find Fortnite client win 64 shipping and click on that and just click add. At that point, it pops up in here. You get this little box, right? You're gonna click on options and make sure you have this set to high performance. So this again, is just gonna optimize your graphics card, your PC to perform a bit better while you're playing Fortnite. So you'll click save and you're done. Some general just good advice guys, if you haven't done this in a long time, type in programs down here, you'll get this option at the top for add or remove programs. I would just go through all the programs that you run on your PC. If there's none that you've used in like a long time, click on them, uninstall them, just get rid of them because anything will help with your PC and removing uh, you know, anything that you're not using is just generally good advice. So yeah, guys, I mean, that's a pretty simple thing to do. Obviously, there's gonna be some you can't remove, like get help, Microsoft. I don't care about that, I don't even know what that is. You can't uninstall it. So some of them are built in. They're mostly like Microsoft Corporation apps, but still go through each of those apps. And if you see something that you haven't used in like eons, just uninstall it remove it and uh, yeah, it'll help you out a lot. All right guys, so here's another good tip. You're gonna wanna adjust your power settings. You're gonna come down here into the search icon, type in power, and you'll get this option here for power and sleep settings. Click on that. There's not really much you need to change here, but if you scroll down a bit, you'll see additional power settings. Click on that. And then you get this window here. So this is where you get a bunch of options. Uh, depending on what you have already installed in your computer, you might have some good ones already. You should have high performance as an option. That's the one I use that's probably the best in my opinion. And yeah, it just favors performance and uses a bit more energy. So yeah guys, also just a quick disclaimer, because it is high performance, if you're on like a laptop, for instance, this can make it kind of run kind of heavy, can make it, get pretty hot as well 
it can also just make it die a lot quicker because it's using more energy to uh, to play the game in higher performance. So if you want the best performance, just make sure you got like your laptop plugged in, you know, with a power supply or something. But I just wanted to quickly mention that. Another really good option, guys, especially if you haven't done this in quite a while, come down here to the bottom, click again, and then type in disk. When you type in disk, you'll get disk cleanup as an app up here at the top. Open that one. You can actually manually just select whichever drives you want to clean. Uh, let's do C drive, just click clean and you'll get this little message here. It shows temporary internet files, downloaded programs, a bunch of other things that you can clear out if you haven't used them before. Just click clean up system files. You can just do the default ones if you'd like and then just click okay. It'll take you at a second or two. This can help, you know, with your performance overall on your PC. So yeah, guys, just a just a quick FYI for you guys if you didn't know about this clean up disk uh, free app that's on your PCs. Yeah, guys, I know this is a pretty quick and simple one. I just wanted to point out all those extra things that you can do on your PC to help optimize your PCs. I didn't tackle like anything to do with graphics card settings. Um, if you guys want more videos like that, be sure to check out the rest of the videos on my channel because I have a bunch of them about optimizing your PC when it comes to like graphics quality, your graphics card, and, and different things like that. So it's definitely worthwhile, but I appreciate you guys bearing with me. I know it's been forever since I freaking got a video up uploaded for you guys, but uh, I'm back on it. I plan on doing more videos, like more... Uh, ideally, I'd like to do at least a few a week, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, guys, let me know if you guys are enjoying Season 7. I mean, we've been out on Season 7 now a couple weeks as well. Got freaking aliens attacking to our faces and, and causing mayhem. And it, it's been pretty crazy with these UFOs in the sky and stuff. So I've been enjoying it a lot. I'm not really a fan of like the upgrading stuff going on this season. I think upgrades are super expensive at upgrade benches. I also think that it's, uh, that it's kind of pointless to do the side grading i don't think the weapons are that good for like side grading and stuff i really appreciate all your guys' time i hope you guys have an awesome rest of the weekend peace out for now Bye bye